union FEDUSA has condemned acts of violence during public sector protests. It says it's received reports of its members being intimidated and prevented from working. In some cases, they've even been assaulted. I'm now joined by FEDUSA's Deputy Secretary General, Ashley Benjamin, via Zoom. A very good morning to you, Ashley. Thank you so much for joining us here on ENCA this morning. What exactly are you hearing from, from members? What kind of intimidation um, are they speaking of? Good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. Well, look, let me say up front that as producer, we fully support the right to strike, but we support peaceful and ordinary strike action. Uh, we have received reports from our members in some provinces that a lot of intimidation has been taking place. In some instances, some of our members has been followed home uh, by striking workers uh, and, and intimidating them not to not to go to work. Now that we found unacceptable, in particular in the health sector, whereby we provide a service to the general public. Is there anything you're able to do about it, Ashley? Is there anything that the union can can do in, in ensuring that, firstly, uh, it stops the the intimidation and the assault, or, or is this out of your hands? Well, it, 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 it's out of our hands. It's up to the law enforcement agencies like the South African Police Services to, to intervene and to ensure law and order. We're not saying breaking up strike. We saw ensure that the public interest and the interest of those who want to work and want to serve the public, in particular in the health and, uh, sector, that they can do so freely without intimidation. I think we've seen some reports yesterday uh, in the uh, KwaZulu Natal area, whereby where there was a police presence at some of the hospitals and business were normal. Uh, workers were allowed to go to work and patients could freely enter and exit the hospital. And that's all that we want to see. We support the right to strike, but I think no one has got the right to deprive others of their rights as well as the public, in particular the poorest of the poor, to access these public hospitals. Now, I'm not, I wouldn't want to make it seem as though it's um, acceptable, uh, the, the method of protesting, but the, the protesters could then come back and say to you, uh, Ashley, as, as Fedusa and, and, and everybody else, in fact, to say that they are not going to hear our message and they're not going to hear it clearly if we don't do it the way we are doing it, if we do not protest the way we are protesting. Uh, would you feel that, that 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 could then perhaps make sense as to why they're doing what they're doing, or this is just um, acts of criminality? I think it's complicated, but one needs to look at the situation on its merits. If you protest outside a health facility, I mean, you're dealing with people's livelihoods, uh, people uh, generally who visit the hospital are in need for for medical attention. So it would be very unethical and unprofessional to block an entrance of a hospital or to block an emergency vehicle from entering and exiting a hospital. That is unacceptable. That, that we cannot support. And there are other ways of protesting uh, and, and, and bringing your, your, your case and your arguments across without obstructing and, and endangering the lives of, of people. How do you hope that this ends up, uh, Ashley? How do you hope that this is, is, is resolved? Uh, because, you know, there's, there's protesters who are, who are essentially upset and, you know, they feel aggrieved that their, their complaints and their crimes are not being heard. They feel insulted. And yet you, you have, you know, a government that's saying that, well, I mean, we can't necessarily give you what you want because of whatever reasons that they've put forward as well. So there's an impasse here. Everybody's at an impasse. How do you hope this gets resolved? We're back at the bargaining table. Our members have given us an overwhelming mandate to say return to the bargaining table and, and, and engage the employer under the auspices of the PSCBC to see whether you can improve our lives and, and, and fight for better increases. Uh, there is still the majority groupings uh, uh, currently engaged uh, with the employer. Uh, I can tell you that we comprise about 53, just under 54 percent of public sector workers. So we are the majority still talking to the employer. A follow-up meeting will, uh, will happen on Monday. And our advice is to our comrades in the house is to join the bargaining table, engage in negotiations. The demand is 10 percent, the offer is 4.7. Where are you willing to, to, to meet them halfway? 
Look, it depends. It, it's an emotive issue. As you know, public servants has been uh, unfairly treated over the past three, four years. So our demand is 10%. But as you know, this is negotiations. And it depends on the willingness and the commitment from the employer. That will guide us uh, as the producer grouping as to how, where we will settle. And obviously, our members will give us the final uh, mandate as to how we need to conclude uh, this year's wage negotiations. Has it ever been considered, perhaps, uh, Ashley, because, you know, sometimes in protests, it's not really members that are, you know, essentially enacting acts of, of, of criminality and, and causing the chaos that is being caused. It could sometimes just be third parties, you know, outside forces, if, 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 if you may. Has it been considered potentially that it may actually not even be your members that are doing this? And what would you then be able to do if you were to find that it's actually not your members? Is there anything you can do? Well, there's always what we call agent provocateurs. There's always a criminal element that will come in and exploit the situation and, 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 and the fight of workers. But in that instance, it's easy to determine uh, whether there is outside influence. But then we expect the leadership of the union to come out strong and speak mm. against this intimidation and violence. That would show uh, the bona fides and ensure that as responsible trade unions that we support orderly uh, uh, strike action and not endangering the lives of others. Ashley, I will leave it there with you, but thank you so much. And we can only but hope that this ends up in a, uh, you know, a sensible uh, conclusion, that everybody gets what it is that they are demanding, that they are asking for, and, 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 and that, you know, the protest action doesn't spiral out of control. But uh, we'll leave it there with you. Thank you so much for joining us here on ENC. That is Fedusa's Deputy Secretary General, Ashley Benjamin, joining us, of course, via Zoom.